Hello everyone, it's really good to see you here. So today we are going to solve a lead code problem which is maximum product of two elements in an array. So here we have given an array and we have to actually find the indices i and j which have to be different in the array and we have to return nums of i minus 1 into nums of j minus 1. So we have to return this value. So the very first approach which we can think of is we can use uh, two loops, two nested loops and in that we have act, uh, the first loop will go from i equal to 0 to n and the second loop goes from j equal to i to n. So in this we have to actually uh, just come up with the maximum of this number. But as we can see that here the time complexity become O of n square which is not a very efficient algorithm to write upon. So here the second approach could be uh, if we have given a list L then we can find the first maximum number and the second maximum number. So first maximum number is at index 2 which is 5 and second uh, maximum number is 4 which is at index 1. So if we find both of the indexes, then we can simply do this and return the answer. So how we can solve this problem is, for finding the max value, the most maximum value, we can simply run a for loop and then get the maximum index of the maximum value, which is max 1. And for getting this max 2, what we have to check is, while running the loop, if our i value is E is not equal to m1 that is we don't want to repeat the indices of max1 and max2 that's why we are checking that if our i value is not equal to uh, m1 then we can actually uh, then we can actually replace it but the condition here also follows that m2 has to be equal to 0 because we have initialized m1 and m2 as 0 and then we had checked the condition and if we talk about this list L, then here we can see that after uh, doing the iteration, we got the M1 as 0 because 10 is the maximum value inside that list. Now to get M2, what we have to check? That if our i value, so in a for loop, the iteration goes from 0, right? So if our, if our i not equal to M1 and M2 equal equal to 0 or L of i is greater than L of m2, then we have to simply replace the value of m2 with i. So here in this case, if we talk about uh, if we talk about i, then uh, initializing a for loop, we get an i equal to 1 because since we are using m1, m2 as 0, so we are initializing i equals as 1. So the for loop goes from i equals to 1 to n. So in this case, for i, uh, since i equal to 1 and which is not equal to 0, what we have to check again is m2 equal equal to 0. So in this case, m2 equal equal to 0 is here. So what we do, we just do this m2 equals to i. And if this is not the case, we have to check for this. So if this is true, then also we have to replace the value of m2. So let's dive into the coding part. So here, what I had done is I had taken two integer max1 and max2. So max1 stores the index of maximum value, most maximum value and then max2 uh, stores the index of second maximum value. And here after running this for loop I got the maximum index of the maximum value inside that nums. And then for getting the second maximum value index what I have to check is if the i value not equal to max 1 and our max 2 equal equal to 0 if this is the case or our nums i greater than nums of max 2 then also we have to replace it and since we got the maximum index of first uh, most uh, maximum number and the second most maximum number we have to simply return the answer so now i am going to submit this So it got accepted. Uh, so if you want to assess the code, then you can directly go and check the GitHub link given in the description. And this is it for this video. Thanks for watching.